A lot of you guys who are big wrestling fans during the mid to late 90s know who this is. Uh, Kevin Nash, also known as the WWF. He was known as Big Daddy Cool Diesel. And then he jumped ship to WCW to uh, pair one of the greatest wrestling groups of all time, which is the NWO, and change uh, the face of wrestling forever. But um, this is an old clip that I want y'all to listen to. This was earlier this year. And Kevin Nash was talking about racism. And uh, I got to tip my hat off to Kevin Nash for keeping it 100, keeping it real. Um, this is why I treat people as individuals, but at the same time, have my cloud of suspicion. But like I said, I want to get my hats off to Kevin Nash for keeping it real in this interview. I want you to listen to what he had to say in this interview. Black Reality TV, I'll holler. Peace. You know, that's, it, race is such a touchy uh, subject because, you know, I was, I was eight years old when the, the race riots occurred. So, I mean, I, 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 there, I mean, it's like I was old enough to have a, a dist- I mean, when you watch, when you sit from your house and go down to the river and basically watch Detroit burn, um, and then you see on your news that, the, that there's actual tanks going down I-75 into, into, into Detroit. And um, it is amazing the number of, of people, like 357 people were killed, I think, in the Detroit riots. And I, I'm not, I might be completely, but for some reason, I mean, I remember it was a, a huge <laughs> amount of, of people that were actually, and they were sniping police officers, um, so when you, when you, and, and especially in a city that didn't have that cultural divide until, you know, until that time, like the, the, there was harmony in Detroit. There wasn't, you know, it, it, it just, it, it amazed me. But when you, when you see what happened, it's, you know, and then it, it's, you know, two white cops go to a, uh, what they call back then a blind pig, and uh, they gun down a black guy, and it starts it starts to ride on Plummet Twelve, and I might be getting all these streets and names and everything else wrong, but well, you well, your points well taken. It, it's just and I, I look at what we have going, and, and it's just like, and everybody says, well, we have a black president, things are different. And I look at them and go, if you if you don't think it's not 1968 still. Somewhere, yeah. Everywhere. Well, I, I don't see. I don't see it. I mean, I, th- there's there's diversification because it's because of, of of things like this this lawsuit. That lawsuit doesn't happen, then it just. It, it, so you feel there was merit to the lawsuit? I thought so. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I thought so. And it's also it's 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 such a home run. Because they don't want to fight it. Yeah, a company wouldn't want to. It, it's fight. yeah. It's just it's it's you know that's. I mean, nobody. I mean, look at Hulk. You know, you 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 cross that. You go anywhere near that. You know, it's. Yet Blacklish the other night did a half hour sitcom on it on the n-word um harrison would go on to serve life in prison for multiple counts of sex trafficking and forced labor um doesn't doesn't make him a bad guy no listen you got to make a living 